Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you how you can create a Google business account, at least to the point where you could verify it. And then you will also see what it looks like when it's verified. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a Google business account. These are the steps that you want to follow. The first step is you want to make sure you have a Google account. You can create one for free. You also want to make sure you have the name, address, and phone number of your business. Also a business category and a business description. You're going to need those to be able to create your account. Now, there are a few ways you can go about this. If you already have an account, you can go to manage now, but if you don't have an account, you can actually create it by doing this over here, going to Google business profile. And if you don't have an account, it'll ask you once you go here to create an account and you could say for my personal use, for my child, for work or my business. So either of these two, and it'll be linked to your business. But in this instance, we are already logged in and we will just show you how it is once that takes place. It's pretty much the same way. But my advice is at least create a Google, a Google account and take it from there because then you can start to just make all your changes. Once you have created a Google account, a Gmail account, this is what you get to see. You see I'm logged in over here. Right. And so it's pretty much the same process. So the first process, again, would be to create your Gmail account if you don't have one. If you do have one, this is where you just pick things up from. OK, so now once you're logged in, you go to or let me say once you go to Google dot com slash business, as you can see on the top left here, Google dot com slash business. You can also go there by just typing Google business profile and it should take you to the Google business page, as you can see here. Google business profile. It's right here. Once I click this, it takes me to where I want to go. Now I am going to start by saying manage now, not sign in, just manage now. Now, when you click manage now, if you have a business already, you can type in the name of that business there just to see if it pops up. As you can see here, this pops up in this instance, as I've done this, if I do want to claim biz crown media, I will then click biz crown media and have to go through all that process now if i did that see what would happen here so if this is if you're claiming because google might have actually listed you already on their site but if you have not been listed then you go about it the other way so this is if you've been listed already and you just claim it you see and it tells you someone else may manage this business profile and then you request access if there isn't it just tells you to carry on, you know, you follow that process. So, but over here, I'm going to go back and we're just going to start a new business, you know? And so in this instance, I'm going to just say Graham leap over here, create a business with this name. All right. Pretty much the same process. So let's do Graham leap. Let's continue. Must not be blank. There we go. So Graham leap. Now we get to choose our business type. Is it an online retail store? If you're an online retail store where customers can purchase products through your website, you would click here, right? If you're a local store, so customers can visit your business in person, you want people to actually come visit you in person, you would click here. If you're a business and you actually make visits to customers, right? Where let's say you are an IT guy that visits houses to fix computers, or you know you provide service like a plumber and whatnot, and you don't have a local store that people actually need to come to, then your business makes visits to customers, as you could see. So we're just gonna click that, but you could click any of these, and then you would click next. Now, going that after, it's gonna ask you for the business category. Remember, we said it, you will need a business category, very important. And in this instance, you can just type in what your category is, whatever you're, whatever you're doing. So as you can see here, it says marketing agency. So we can, we have the opportunity once we type in marketing to pick marketing agency, marketing consultant, internet marketing services. As you can see, these are all um, um, the categories that are on there already. And you have to pick what they have already. You just can't make up yours. Okay. Now we're going to click next. <clears throat> And then where do you serve your customers? So here, 
Add areas where your business provides deliveries or home and office visits. This will appear on your business profile. So you could pick anywhere here. You would just have to type in the name of the city and see if it pops up. So we say Chicago over there and you could pick more than one. OK, so let's say we just do <clears throat> West D, Illinois. See, and it just shows here and I'm sure you could pick even more Schaumburg, Illinois, as you can see. So what this does is it's pretty much letting Google know this is the area where you operate so that when it's optimizing you, it's showing you to the people in this area. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we'll click next after that. <clears throat> and now you have to add your phone number, right? You have to add your phone number. So let's just add a phone number here. Eight, four, seven. And then your website. All right. Now what happens is once you do that, you have to make sure that you added a right phone number because they will use that to contact you or you might need it to verify going forward. So next place, put your business on the map, start connecting with your customers across Google all in one place, get discovered, respond to reviews for your business, manage your business details across uh, Google, get news and tips um, about how to improve your business profile. If you want that, you can click that. Get invitations to participate in locational surveys and pilots. If you want that, you can click that. Right now, we're just going to skip it. Okay, going next, <clears throat> let's see what happens here. Please enter your mailing address to verify, right? So I know even if you are visiting uh, services, even if you're visiting people, um, it's still, they're still going to ask you for your address, right? So that's very, very, um, it doesn't matter. You still have to put it there because you might think, hey, I'm not having people visit me. You still have to put your um, there. So let's do um, Great Railroad right there. And West on D, Illinois, C, next. And then you could click next and pick your state. Another thing you could also do, as you can see, it says verify later. You know, it says verify later. So I'm putting in the address here. Um, the address you provide here will be hidden from the public. Post office boxes are not eligible, as you can see. You know, this is for us to verify. Now, you would click next. And let's see what happens. Verification in progress. You can reply to reviews. Turn on chat more. So let's go to next. Now you could add your services, which is pretty cool. So let's just say we do uh, Instagram marketing, right? Created our own here. We click next. And then you can add your business hours, as you can see. So if you're open on Monday, you could do that. And then you could put the time that you're open on Monday for. So you could say 7 a.m. to... 4 p.m. Let's see. Where is it? Where is 4 p.m.? Come on. Show up. 4 p.m. right there. All right. And um, you can do that. Do that. And, you know, you could. those are your hours that you're open. And you could put your times that you're open in there as well. So let's click next. Okay. I'm just going to do this. Turn this off because um, it's not going to ask for the time. Add messaging. Let customers message your business on Google for free. So accept messages. You can either say no. Or you could say, yes, I advise if it's for your business, you want customers to be able to send you messages. So I would totally say yes. All right, let's go to next. Add a business description. You have 750 characters to do that. So you can go to AI and say, hey, give me 750 characters for my business. Um, but we'll just use a few here. We provide Instagram and social media marketing services all right so let's just leave it at that in the interest of time but you could add your business description there now let's go to next and you could see it's telling us as we're customizing our profile you see the bar here the bar keeps going keeps moving forward is what i should say it's showing the steps that we are in doing this okay show off your products and services and let customers peek inside your business so here you could start to add photos you can drag photos here or you can select photos, you know, all you got to do is click it, you upload your photo and it automatically just shows up here. Let's just drag this over here, you know, um, 
and let's see what happens. All right, so photos of your business. That's really not a picture of our business, but we could do that. You know what? I will actually delete that and add something a little bit more. Let's just add the AI realtor here. <laughs> All right. All right, so, and let's click next. Claim your 500 free advertising. Um, so here you could actually claim your credit um, to start doing Google ads, but that's a totally different process. So we're just gonna skip that. Your edits will be visible once you're verified and then you click continue. All right. So as you can see now, we are now on um, our business is now on Google. We have set this business up on Google and we can then go into editing the profile. Uh, um, so as you can see, you could click edit profile here. And once you do that, you could start to change different things that you didn't do before, you know, as you were creating it. So let's go to contact, location, hours, more, all that stuff is over there. And so um, for a business that's optimized, um, you will see probably a whole lot more information, but we just created this. So I will show you how it is with um, BizCron Media's page, because then you'll get an idea of a fully optimized page how it ha how, what it sorry excuse me what it looks like so as you can see it shows your customer interactions pretty much the same process um sorry excuse me the same view but when you go down here you will see the difference as you can see all this is pretty set up on the bottom right here everything that you have done in your google business profile then shows up right here when people are searching for you so you can see here we have our products already included um, on the pages here um, we have our posts that go out weekly. As you can see, we have our social media profiles um, right here, you know. So that shows you uh, one that's pretty much optimized that's been, you know, chugging along this whole time. But if you were to create yours and set it up, that's how you would go um, about it. And once you're doing that, you can start to use all these wonderful features that are available for you, uh, setting up booking, adding an update, creating an offer, getting your reviews, turning on chat, all these wonderful tools, claiming your credit that are very helpful for you to use for marketing your business on Google. I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, subscribe to our channel so you can continue to get great content that's very helpful to you. Until next time, take care.